Here we will instruct you on proper assembly of the innovative Sunline sliding cubicle system. There's a small learning curve, but once understood, the Sunline sliding cubes will fly up in less than half the time of standard cubicles. First, verify that the dimensions of the install plan line up with the dimensions of the company's actual space. Step two, unbox all contents and stage for easy assembly. Next, use supplied lubricated wipes to lightly lubricate the grooves inside each post in preparation for installing the first group of cubicles. This method is suggested for smoother assembly. We recommend staying diligent about clean hands to keep all products nice and fresh for the client. You might even want to wear some thin gloves. The next step is to begin installation by building one corner of one of the cubicles. First, slide the large base panel, or raceway end base panel, all the way down into the 90 degree L corner post. Note, base panels that go below the work surface line come in different heights, depending on whether that section uses a raceway or not. Now, slide the current two-piece configuration into the next connecting post, most likely a two-way panel-to-panel eye post, to create a U-shaped configuration of the two posts and one base panel, or the two posts and one base panel plus raceway, depending on which side you start with. Next, slide the remaining panels into the current U configuration to complete this section of the wall. Then create another two-piece configuration, like in the previous step, with a base panel or base panel plus raceway. Only this time, you'll probably use an eye post, or in some cases, an end, depending on the configuration of the cube. Slide this new two-piece configuration into the already built wall, and slide remaining panels down to complete the corner of the cubicle. Step five. This step is about measuring the height of the posts so the work surfaces can drop flush onto your support pieces. Weight-bearing file cabinets, cantilevers, or clips. Slide one of the weight-bearing file cabinets into the built corner wall. Then, fix the height of the walls by adjusting the black feet of the posts so that the groove in the large base panel, where your support pieces will later clip into, is even with the top of the file cabinet. You can even place a cantilever or white plastic clip into the groove to get a better feel. The work surface will later drop snug onto the top of the file cabinet without having to adjust any heights. Now that you've found the ideal height of each post, adjust the feet of all other posts accordingly. Step seven, stand up the next post and slide panels in according to the plan to complete the next section of the wall. Since not all floors are level, it's best to check for leveling as you add on new walls. Step eight, continue until the entire cubicle wall is built. If you experience any issues with panels not easily sliding into place, make sure all panels line up straight, the posts are lubricated properly, and the wall is level. Now, once all walls are built, place any weight-bearing file cabinets. Step 10, if your plan calls for an overhead cabinet, clip the overhead cabinet into the groove on the top panel. We recommend securing the overhead into the panel using self-tapping screws for safety precautions. If wall mounting, secure end posts to the wall first, then slide panels in accordingly. If overheads are involved in wall mounting, use provided pole legs instead of cantilevers to support the weight. Next, step 11. According to the install plan, place all cantilevers and white plastic clips on the insides of the walls to prepare for dropping in the work surfaces. Then, drop work surfaces onto all support pieces you've set up. Some surfaces may need to be cut on site. If unsure, consult the install plan. Step 13, from below the surface, screw up into all white clips and cantilevers and secure flat plates where necessary. Lastly, now that you've assembled the full station, invite employees to sit down and enjoy their brand new Sunline sliding cubicle. It's that easy.